one. Hi, this podcast is probably going to be pretty long because I wrote the story, um, but uh, it's Paisley, and this is a happy story for Easter, but it doesn't, like, completely focus on Easter, so. Um, the story is super stupid, so don't judge. Um, <laughs> <coughs> Hi, my name is Tatiana, and I'm a fairy. See, that's the weird part, and... When I was in kindergarten, um, like, I couldn't really move stuff. Like, the other kids, like, I couldn't use any, like, magic whatsoever. Um, and they just thought I needed more time to learn, but I never really did. So, then, by the time I turned eight, I was diagnosed with a rare syndrome that prevented me from, um, using magic. So, the absence of magical aura and the other fairies had... But this makes me unique, um, because in a world where magic, it, like, is the means to every end, from, you know, warfare to simple household chores. So, the lack of magic ability means no one can sense me coming. They can't sense my magical aura, because I don't have one. And so I can slip past any magical barrier completely unnoticed. My strength and agility greatly outmatches those of most individuals who depend on magic has left them physically weak. Um, In other words, I make the perfect spy. So my first mission was when I was 13. I wanted to go to my friend's house, and this is when I realized that no one can sense me. So I walked right through my front door, silently as I possibly could. When I got there, my friend said if I could sneak through their house, I was, like, completely perfect for m- for her father's job. Um, he worked a elite army force, like a missionary. And if I walked through their front door, then I could sneak past anything. So, he asked me to join the force, and I was basically there for two years while they trained me. And I went on a real mission when I was 15. And the system and everything was already set up. So, now, I decided that I had no freedom. So, I decided to leave and go out on my own. But then, I used to do my job for a lot of money. And some guy tried to pay me $50,000. So, I was supposed to, like, kill someone. Like, like, yeah. So, of course I said yes. Is fifty thousand dollars? Of course, I said yes. But I realized that when I got there, he asked me to kill the freaking Easter Bunny. <laughs> he asked me to kill the Easter Bunny, and I said no. So then, I got like five thousand eggs on Easter. He was really happy that I didn't hurt him. Yay! Goodbye. <laughs>